it's um it's just alternative dragon. Yeah, but it has two five attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I am joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Bragg from Braggio. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, let's start with Ben. We it's are been back a hot in minute. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. I'm back in the country and I went to locals today and I won. You did. Yeah. Set four pass is a really strong strategy. Look, a lot of people couldn't handle just two of the set four pass, so it's like, okay, cool. Um... Yes, yeah, sir. Go good, ace. Good return. Go ace. Go um, ace. So yeah, locals was fine. Um, I was a little thrown by. Well, Bragg was the same. We got thrown by the start time of the tournament, where despite the fact that despite we haven't been in the country for the past two weeks, you guys have been here. You still told us the wrong time to go show up. I didn't tell you shit. Tournaments apparently start at twelve now. And in group chat, they were like, oh, yeah, 12. And I was like... None of us were aware of this. So... I only just turned up at 12, so I was in just as bad a position as you. Here we are. Anyway, you got there, you won, I so there, stop your I bitching. Won. Yeah. 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 Are you keen to stay on the deck? Oh, yeah, I'm going to like play the deck long term. Like, especially if I'm winning locals every week. But it's finding a way to play it. Well, you'll be back on Tuesday. Go Tuesday, six thirty. Yeah, I need to sort that out. Fun. Um, what else? Did I do much New Year stuff in the last week of Japan? Not really. I bought a crap load of double sleeves because I found oh over sleeves because I found a really good brand of over sleeves that I quite like. Yeah, very good. Um, what else did I do on my adventure? I finished my rush tool deck. We'll get to that. Will we? Well, there'll be rushed all content. Um, and yeah, that was the general locals experience. It's pretty straightforward. Sometimes I won die rolls, sometimes I lost die rolls, and then I just won all the matches. Brag. Yeah, a lot of rush tools. Oh, I, I finished the Master Wolf tournament, sorry, the festival. The Lights and Darks. Oh, I haven't started The yet. new one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, well, I finished it. Easy. Now, when you say finished it... I got to the end where I was getting gems, and I was like, I'm done. Yeah. Did you... We'll talk about it in a second anyway. Brack. Uh, yeah, so... Did a bunch of Rush Duel content, some box openings on my channel. Please go check them out. Uh, built the... Uh, I built the machine deck because I didn't get enough Harpy cards, because... Like, sure. Japanese product is cheaper. But you sure as hell don't pull stuff either. Like, it's still yeah. very much yeah. the same RNG. Like, so you got to go and hit up the singles, and I guess that's why singles markets at their card stores are... Fucking huge. Yeah. And not that expensive. Yeah. It's... They must do... They must give nothing. They must buy them for nothing. Yeah. Which... And then people sell them for nothing, but if you sell lots of cards for nothing, you eventually make your money back and keep going. Maybe that's a theory. I don't know. Or they treat it as a rental. Yeah, we'll find out. Well, from what I found, because I did a bit of searching for commons when I was there... And, like, their commons are still, like, 30 cents each. Yeah. And, like, if packs are only a buck, and they're selling those commons at 30 cents a pop, and, like, the rare at a dollar, they're getting their value back pretty easily on selling those packs. Yeah. Because, like, I'm assuming cost price is less than that dollar per pack. But not every common's good. And not every pack's yeah, good pack. Yeah, a lot of the commons are, are trash promos and stuff, where it's like, oh, we're already at the point where now you've got your four lead normal monsters if which don't even work in the main game now. Like, we, when we start out, there's going to be some normal monsters flying around, 1500 attack as the peak. Uh, but that's not the case in the main game. There's... No. Power Creep's already taken hold and it's only been three years? Yeah, started 2020. Which, yeah. yeah. My deck requires you to play a normal monster for the uh, fusion spell. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm playing, like, Seven Rogues, which is, like, reverse branded. Where you shuffle the fusion spell shuffles back into deck from grave. Oh, cute! Yeah, as long as you're you have to fusion summon this with seven roads magician, but it shuffles back from grave to do it. And that's with its own spell, yeah. Yeah, so it's like uh, seven roads fusion or something like that. So you play like a bunch of the seven roads cards that are just like mill one do this effect, 
So like Seven Roads Magician, level one, this card gains two hundred for each different attribute spellcaster engraved. I'm hearing much more about rush tools than I ever thought I would. That's or okay, ever dude. wanted to. There's gonna be so much rush tools content. Yeah, look, we'll get there. We'll get there. Rush tool corner. Coming Coming soon. Pretty soon. Podcast New Year's. Uh otherwise, yeah, went to went to play normal locals today. Had missed the memo of the start time. Um the communication was pretty iffy and also on my end but also I, I just don't want to I was really confused by the fact that they were willing to hold the tournament for me but not let you Reggie <laughs> no I got as soon because he just went out going where Jay correctly said hey we're still waiting on someone because it isn't 1230 yet and he's like I'll just give him a buy and like started kept, kept reading out the, the pairings I'm like well fuck me I guess been coming here for 10 years obviously there's been some periods of <laughs> not so but for the most part, set it up. Would like a bit of more communication on when the new fucking start time is. Would be nice. Yeah. And Look, I could have, I, I could have, I could have clearly communicated, but that's not where I'm at anymore. Like I, I, I don't want to go seeking off. How can I give you my money? That's not. <laughs> that's not what I, my job is as a customer anymore. So I'm kind of just as soon as he's like throughout that, I'll give Ben the buy. I'm like, well, fuck me. I guess I'm out of here. <laughs> Um, well, then I'm probably not going to play Tuesday. Oh, well, I can't make it. It's six thirty either. Oh, uh, yeah, but that's start time, yeah. Yeah, it'll be a bit too tight, so then we have to figure out if I'm in a Thursday gaming mood. Mm. That was my week. How about yours, Jack? Uh, my week's been okay. Um, so playing Unchained at the moment. Um, I feel like the side is letting me down. Actually, no, I know the side is letting me down because like. Games one are fine, but then once I start bringing stuff in and changing stuff out, the sides just aren't holding up to what they're needing to do. So I'm going to change those out. What's the side strategy at the moment for you? There isn't one. Okay. It's literally I transplanted it from another deck. Yeah. And it's just not correlating. So I'm going to have to change. Yeah, no. There is also the the time and tested strategy of uh, don't get sided, don't get hit with your opponent's side deck cards. Yeah. It's a pretty good strategy. Mm. Just go, oh, what are they going to bring? Oh, they're going to bring floodgates? All right, let's just bring more back row removal. Baby. No, no, no. What are they going to bring? Floodgates? I just hope they don't draw them. <laughs> <laughs> just play more draw cards? Just go, I'll see more cards to not get floodgated? Yes. Pro strats. Desire side deck. Oh, oh God, no. Um, <laughs> but yeah, other than that, the deck's been performing fine. Um... <laughs> I keep having this interaction every time I verse Leo that like I'll bait out a couple of negates and then I start doing the thing where I'm like, oh, okay, I target this, it destroys. It summons from deck. I do this again on a different thing. It summons from deck. And I like do that maybe three times. And he's like, I don't want to hear it anymore. I'll, I'll scoop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to hear about what they do anymore. I'm like, they all do the same. They're all the same. <laughs> Against Luke, he was playing Infernoble. And he played like the new cards. I was like, ah, oh, I see this is still more cards they're adding to this deck that I'm just not going to read. Yeah. And like, there <laughs> was like, a lot of Just get to the end board and let me know what's going on. <laughs> like, the text, the field floor has a lot of text on it. And he was like, I, I pay 12 and I add one. It's not once per turn. And I was like, it's not a hard once per turn. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, good, I'm not going to read it. But I like assumed if it adds, that's going to be a once per turn. Yeah, but it, yeah, it's kind of bonkers, that spell, in that it's soft once per turn on both the effects. Yeah. Like, ah, it's fine. Uh, I realised, I went for the time-tested strategy, Jake. The time-tested strategy of... Skin perm near Sole. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It works. <laughs> Still good. But did you imperm the first effect or the second effect? Second effect. Yeah, it's yeah. always second effect. Wait, the first... Don't. They can't use the card anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Well, the I'll... old theory used to be like in the very start of Infernoble that like you imperm the first effect and then it's not going to resolve the second one. But because they play so it's... many extenders now, it's like, it's oh, that's an, actually not going to work. Yeah. 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 Um, other than that, been playing Master Duel as well. Um, I cannot get off Master 5. I just cannot. I'm like yo yoing hard. Oh. Like win one, lose one, win one, lose one consistently. I think I'm at. Is it Diamond? before you go to master yeah i'm at diamond two playing the shit ass fucking version of cash tira yeah so cash cash is the thing that's probably given me the most problems um less so the fenrir banish but more so the unicorn because i can't do what i did in the tcg and play just two um what's the fucking bitch's name 
Zeus. No. Oh, the one card that's at one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's her name? Tellman's something. Uh, the the fusion. Yeah, the level five. I'm having Kit a complete Carlos. Kit Carlos. Yeah, I can't just do what I did in the TCG and play two Kit Carlos because it's limited in there. Yeah, that's so that's I'm fine like. Dandy. It's, um, yeah, not ideal. Um, so there will come a time pretty soon where I'll change deck, I think. But I just don't know what. It may be that once... <laughs> it may be that once the rest of cash comes out, I just, like, dial my brain down to two and just play fucking brain dead cash. We'll I don't see how care going. enough about that game to want to get to the top of Master. I'd like to do it once. Like, I've gotten close. I think I got to Master... Th- three last season Boom. yeah and yeah just i think i fell off at that point because there was festivals that i preferred to do i just want pearly i mean soon where the pearly at? they'll they'll stuff up the release no, we won't. no no they'll release pearly this this set and then wait another month for the cash tier yeah <laughs> expansion but they still won't have the um in the really? meantime, they'll just be like, oh, guys, we still need to address to relevance, though. Um, I don't know if they do. King of the Swamp to one? <laughs> That'll do it. Um, yeah, so moving on to Master Duel, um, the newest event, as you mentioned before, because um, uh, Angels vs. Demons wasn't quite uh, thematic enough, so they've now gone for Dark vs. Light. Um, so if you're not aware of it, basically you go in... Uh, you pick a team, it's not definitive, you can change it out if you want, uh, and you play only darks or only lights as your only attribute. Um, there's been some ban list changes, like I think Branded Fusion's at one, yep. um, and among some other things as well. Um, so I read into a lot of toxicity in this event. Yeah. Uh, when there's no Ash, no Max C, it's it, so it becomes really oh, yeah. toxic. I'm just playing this Floodgate deck, it's like, oh cool, awesome. You summon your Golden Lord. Great. Or, oh, I can't ash your Welcome Labyrinth? Oh, you got the pot with the field spell? Oh, okay. Um, but the biggest thing that I never realized would be a problem, because I played Dark World again for this event, because mm-hmm. I was just like, I'm not going to worry about building a new deck. I'm just going to play Dark World. <laughs> Except I made it better, because then I can put in more dangers, because they're all darks. Yeah. Uh, ran into the problem of uh, adding Starry Dragon, which is not a thing that happens. What? Well, uh, so the starry night. Oh, starry night. No- <laughs> it's just unaffected by yeah. dark effects. Yeah. Can't be done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, I can attack over this, but it's not going to kill it. So like, yeah. Oh, so it can't be destroyed amazing. by battle or card of- or monster effects of darks. Yes. So my out was unicorn. Yes. It yeah. was like, did I get to the unicorn? Yes. Okay. I would. Did I not get that? Is no. Okay, the I lost. funniest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> My dark, dark Lord deck was going great, but I couldn't beat Starry Knights. <laughs> I can't even beat it. The issue was just like, if I used the unicorn and they summoned it again, I just scooped because I was like, oh, I just can't. I can't out you now. Surely in Dark World, you'd like fuck around with the idea of playing Pot of Extra. Oh no, not what? What is it? The recycle draw two. Oh, the shuffle five back draw two. Yeah. yeah, surely you'd give that a go. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I finished it now. Oh, true. Yeah, you finished it. So, as someone who hasn't played this, when you queue up, are you guaranteed to verse the opposite deck, no. or is it you can? So, so they would have that, and if they make that turn one, and then there's like, oh, sucks you on playing light. Yeah. They lose. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So they did say that in their thing, they would uh, do their best to have dark verse light. They're not. But if it. there's well, that's the thing. I think they are purely because when the event first started, they couldn't get the pairings to work. Oh, like, used to work. Where are you going? Ah, oh, fixing the machine. Okay. Yeah. So when it first came up, the pairings just weren't working. So it had like a minute timer, and yeah. it reset for me like four or five times without finding anybody. So. Oh, so they yeah so it must they be were making design. genuine attempts to make it dark versus light. Oh no! I've just realized Bragg's entered another room. That's playing. Copyrighted content. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Oh no, <laughs> what did that picked up on the mic? Look, Greg forgot his uh, his podcast uh, his podcast aid. Well, we can just mute that part, right? Ah, that's fine. Don't don't you face it the other way? Yeah. Wait, yeah. What, what in the fuck is this? Yeah, it's Stay away. Podcast assistance device. Okay. Um. Anyway. Um, I ruined the podcast actively to get. 
Yeah. So not really a good it's assistant. Going to <laughs> it's a terrible, <laughs> terrible assistant. Um, so yeah, I'm, I can't remember all of the loner decks, um, but yeah, I think Starry Night would have been one of them, surely. Or, was, or were you just I, versing someone with I, Starry I, Night? I versed like four different Starry Night people, and I was like... Surely then. Huh. I'm assuming then that Starry okay. Night is one of the loner decks. Cyframes another for life. I played a lot of Cyframes, Cyburst. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's a lot of that. Yeah, that guy's a Cyframe gamer. It was like, <laughs> yeah, so I summoned my gadgets and then I summoned another one and I made the link to and I was like, cool, that's awesome. At one point I played against an opponent that was like, I made the link to and I left the third Cyburst monster on field and was like, awesome. Discard Grapha, pop the link too. I won? Oh, cool. <laughs> um, and then in the dark one, um, again, I can't remember what the other two were. The one that I went with initially as a loner deck because I couldn't be fucked at the time building something was um, Rocket Time Thief. Very loose synergy, being that like the only know. rockets it gave you were the level fours. Yeah. So you could I... just use them as Time Thief fodder. Oh. I, so I realized something like halfway through this event that I was just like, why is everyone just not playing this? So you could play Black Wings or you could play uh, Brandon. Yes. Just make your Burning Dragons and win. Uh, Burning Dragons Limited. That's at one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the Black Wing one's at three. Yeah. I did get um, kind of dumpstered by a Black Wing deck Yeah. Because uh, you're yesterday. playing Darks as well, you don't get hand traps. So you're just like, oh, cool. I, yeah, uh, that's one advantage. Like, there's yeah. very few dark hand traps that dark decks actually want to, want to run. Yeah. Um, so the you can light, play DD Crow? You can play DD Crow, Dimension Shifter, uh, Cherries, but there's no targets for you because you can only run darks and your opponent can only run lights. <laughs> yeah. Um, but light has Effect Veiler and Ghost Ogre. Yes. I realized that in the very first duel when I got <laughs> Ghost Ogre, and I was like, oh. Like, I got Golden Lord popped, and then I was like, oh, awesome. And I, like, I still keep going here. And then I got Ogre, and I was like, I've... I still win, but this is annoying now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, in the light one, I decided that none of the loner decks were good enough. So what I ended up building was uh, Trickstar Mech Knight. But what I didn't realize when I'd like, already crafted half the Trickstars is that uh, Reincarnation is limited. Oh. 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 But it was quite funny when I was versing branded players because um, they inevitably also ran tier elements. Um, they'd go for like a sheer end effect. I'm like, goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> Just bash the head. Um, and the McKnight thing did fine. Uh, and what I put together this morning, I didn't get a chance to play it yet, is uh, tier element uh, something or other. What was the other archetype? How have you not gotten all the gems yet? Also, why do you keep playing these events once you get once you get all the gems? Well, because the cash tier uh, format is not super fun for me at the moment, and I'm having fun in the side events. Yeah, I just, but I just stop playing Master Duel once I'm done with getting my gems. Well, I enjoy Master Duel. There's so many other games to do. Yeah, we yeah, got see, Rush Duels to play now. You've got yeah. the Rush Duels game on the Switch to play now, Jake. My Switch is currently isn't working. Get it fixed so you can play Rush Duels. In Japanese. <laughs> In Japanese. Oh, <laughs> not a fucking chance. Just know what they do. <laughs> hey, you just know what the cards do. So, I don't know thing. what my cards do in English. <laughs> it's very rare that you will have interaction with your opponent. So you just summon everything and whatever it prompts you to do, you just do it. And then you, oh, so that did that. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. I will, I will cut that from my Ab deck. Absolutely not. That is absolutely not happening. I appreciate the gift. It's simply not happening. Uh, uh, the promo, Jake. It's fine. Oh, then yeah, don't give a fuck. Um, okay, so, um, besides that, in Master Duel, uh, there is currently... Oh, there's also promos inside of the box. Oh, okay, well, I'll check those out. Um, oh, we my. do have a couple new assets uh, that have been added. Um, we've got the uh, Gravekeeper's Trap Hole uh, Grave and Banish Surround. Oh, so oh I thought that already exists. Yeah. Oh, that's, okay. Cool, that's cool. Yep, uh, and then we've got a uh, Green Stone of Magic or Spell Counter base. Yeah. Oh, cute. Yeah, yeah, it looks nice. I bought it. Um, you would use spell using fuck. Yeah, all of my tier element spells. Yeah. Yeah? The good one. Like terraforming. Terraforming's banned, Ben. Yeah, because it was the good one. <laughs> I am now currently going back to uh, brag YCS strats of foolish goods for the uh, fucking the trap. Yeah, yeah, it's the only option <laughs> It's the only option you got. You Maybe. either have to hard open it or do that. 
but God knows you're going to draw it and mill the other one. Yep. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, yeah. Um, hopefully we get some other stuff once the event's done. Like, a new solo mode would be nice. The 10 year one was not too bad. I, I'll be real. I When I was in Japan, there was times when I was, like, settled in for bed for the night, and I was like, oh, I might play the solo on Master Duel, and I opened it up, saw the amount that there were, and saw the shitty ones that I had unlocked, and I was like... No. No, I won't. See, be doing this, this. this is it. You just spend a little bit of your time each time they come out and just get them done. No. Yeah, but I didn't do want them. to do the ones that I had. No, no. You get plastered on a Tuesday night. <laughs> you, no, Wednesday night. You message him. He talks you through it. You try and stream it. Okay. My brain Are we doing that Wednesday now? Because I was like, we've just been at local. Well, that's what we've done before. Off. Is it Tuesday? Wasn't it Mondays? That's what we used to do on Mondays. Uh, oh, I can't do Mondays now. Pokemon locals. Ugh. <laughs> The things you got to do for cups. It would be good to well, do you start. Do you play showing... locals to get points now? Uh, oh, no. you're all playing locals so that the locals can get a cup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you got to do that now to qualify for worlds. Yeah. They That's... made their world qualification like harder. Yeah. Unless if you go to merry old England, which I'm tempted by. Look, I just fucking go back to Japan and be like, I'm playing your locals. I'm playing your advance. Yeah, just. <laughs> Try and get their one because God knows how that works for any of the games. There was four thousand people at Worlds for Pokemon, and they were not prepared for that many people to be there. I didn't know. And then there was the uh, the Yokohama uh, Championship just across the road for Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, we I neglected the fact that it was a three v three on that day. It was three of us. Imagine. Imagine. It seems we could have played the three v three. Yeah. Raspberries, that, pearly, that and been sick. junk shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so yeah, moving off Master Duel, we move into the actual game. Uh, so we have a new V Jump promo, yep. uh, or at least the hints of. Uh, so this one is called Blaze, the Supreme Ruler of Dragons. It's a Fire Rank Seven Xyz. Mm. Um, at the moment, they haven't really given us any hints. Sometimes yeah, it's a Dark Ruler, a Dragon Ruler. Oh, the scenes. Well, they're saying that some of the kanji is the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dragon Ruler. Well, it definitely looks like one too. Oh, it looks like a badass. That's not sick. It could be cool. Like, it would mean they have to the probably ban, unban at least one more of them. It's unban all four. One Yu Gi Oh is too powerful for the Dragon Rulers. Yeah. People are just going to nitpick them and play them in other decks. They're not going to play them together. Well, it's either that or it's like fire support which would be bad or it's red eye support which would be worse yeah it's one I of those three things for a second went red eyes is fire <laughs> so they get banished they search for another is there any one is there any cards that they can search for yet that it's kind of broken nah definitely. dark hole dragon <laughs> what's well, dark isn't it yeah dragon warriors can't search dark yeah they only search the type and Maybe that's how they make them broken. They bring in a light and dark dragon ruler. Oh yeah, my they, god, they yes. the dragon rulers. Oh, now you're speaking to me. Just bring them back at three. Bring them with two mini baby dragons. Off you go to the races. Yeah, sure. Dragons just won worlds. Guess what? <laughs> More dragons. I, I'm nuke. actually so sick of dragons as like a concept. I just want them to fuck off. Nuke the current dragon link concept and bring back dragon rulers. Yeah. With the two new dragons. Like, just give them something else to do. Like, stop just making them free summons that are massive and just give them something different they can do. Because it's just so fucking tedious. I'm so sick of it. I hate it. Bloody bestials. I blame bestials for this. Probably not. They, still, they would have found a way. Even without bestials, it just would have been some other cook shit. Um, we also have an announcement of a new card for, I'm not sure, um, if you guys talked about this, uh, archetype at length of the Ma Val Monikers. No, these got announced after, didn't they? No, yeah, yeah, those were after. So, yeah, we're uh, talking so yeah. Centurions. Oh, okay, sure. Um, so yeah, the Val Monikers are, um, inherently bad, but what, <laughs> what they do, their cards what all... What they do is have women on the arc. Well, yeah. Do they work with sulfur cords? No. I mean... No. Um, so basically what they do, their cards are like all angel and devil themed and their spells are all that either give you 500 and give you a really good effect for the for the deck, not a really good effect in general, they're all kind of shit. 
or they pay you 500 life points and they give you a not so good effect for the deck yeah. um, and like every time you, you do that the two scales um, they gain counters and then once the counters are on you can do like off turn link summons that do oh, some stuff oh yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that I remember so, reading those so it does pe- there are pendulum monsters yeah it's a pendulum archetype so they work with sulfur core no they don't so they can't pen- you can pendulum summon still <laughs> can you not can, can you generically pendulum summon uh, no because the scales are 3 and 5 oh that's fine it sucks, so that go- it sucks that they don't go down by the um, counters they've got on them. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, they went up and down. And so like, that would they had be. one counter, it became a two and a six. And Yeah, they're not that good. Or their scales um, are different. The one good thing I'll give this deck is that it's like you discard one of them and it sets the scars from deck. Okay. That's like the one good thing they have going for them is it's like painfully easy to get their scales it's just once you have their scales they're not that amazing but anyway they got a new card um so this one is um you gain the 500 and then you can place a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck and then draw two or you can pay 500 and add a valmonica skull trap yes oh hang on no it doesn't oh okay that's good so it says place one card from the from your hand to the bottom of the deck and if you do draw two cards okay so yeah you go anything on res nope I will be drawing two cards now. Um, yeah. Did so tell you about that time that I drew two cards? It was insane. <laughs> I they, had to play they are, to do it. They they are, are, it is Valiant Smashes, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Alright, so this is like... Why is this set called DBVS, by the way? Because it's Valiant build. Support. It's deck build Valiant Smashes. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. I've been trying to work that out for ages. That's why I could never remember the name, because usually it's like the entire acronym is part of the archetype thingy, but I, I couldn't it's work it out. actually the new season of Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon, Dragon Ball versus, versus Super. Yeah. Just uh, want back. Just want it back. Need more Dragon Ball. Well, the books Ball. kept going. Yeah. No. So, like, there's plenty of content for them to keep... I think it's the new season's actually coming, like, next year. Yeah. Yeah. But it couldn't be this year. Guys, are you excited for the One Piece live action next week? Oh, oh shit, Christ. really? Yeah, we're gonna watch it. We're gonna pull up camp on the TV. We're gonna watch it well, after the podcast. Me and Sam have to watch a thousand more episodes, of the actual one, so we can be up to date. Oh, I thought the live action was back to the start. Oh, probably. I was gonna say, surely it's oh, starting. I don't want to watch start. that back to the start shit again. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I wonder where they stop. We'll find out. Oh, they'll stop after the first one. <laughs> they'll stop after the first episode. <laughs> after one piece, not two piece. Yeah, no, definitely not the second piece. There will not be a One Piece 2. I can almost guarantee it. This will not get renewed for another pieces? season. It will not get renewed for another Brag season piece? is what I'm getting at. Bragg posed a great a, a great statement today. Bakari Sweat is just water too. That is upgraded water. What did you just say to me? So Bakari Sweat. Bakari Sweat. And the bottle's over there's there. The bottle over there. We, um, it's better than water. Yeah, well, we can walk in here. I've already I read this podcast no enough. I'll rule the fucking idea what the hell you're talking about. Have you never know? You know what? Not know what Pakari sweat is. Well, no. He hasn't spent enough time. It sounds like a bitch name. Here. Yeah, you need to go to Asian grocery stores. Find the Pakari sweat. Or any. Yeah. Get your Pakari sweat. This is water too. Great. Yeah. Like, I wasn't that hard on it this time. There was like, I had drunk it so much but, that I'm like, I'm really keen for water. <laughs> I, I drunk three bottles of this a day you sweat this is like because this Powerade and Gatorade are like yeah. impossible to find this is effectively their version of Powerade and Gatorade so except it's plain when you go to your Japanese locals drink some Pakari sweat you would honestly assume that you're sponsored but you're clearly not oh I'd, I'd do nasty things for Pakari sweats if I had a Pakari <laughs> sweat sponsorship that'd be incredible <laughs> Mate, Konami TCG don't watch our Take podcast. Pull the face as well. We're gonna do it. Ab- absolutely not. Uh, moving on, uh, we have some sad news. We're not sponsored by Picari Sweat. Well, yeah, we already knew that news. It's and not. It's not news if we know it. Tier element support. No, it's not that either. That would be great oh, news. That's fine. Because Tier element needs something in the current band it's list. It's not. Um, it's not Centauri, is it? Oh, I don't think so. Because surely Tomoe um, Jones has dibs on that because of his boss quality i didn't see any um of his face this year um because he used to be on on top of all the boss coffee vending machines what is the sad news the sad news oh, is that the two player um started decks are delayed oh, no. we're meant to be getting them next month but now they're delayed until australia day oh it's because they 
Oh. It's because the writers strike. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say they don't want to give us fucking um, Zeus, cheap Zeus. No explanation has been provided. It's, of... it's because of the writer's strike. They need people to write the scripting for the two play duels, and there's a writer strike in America. So I don't know if they need anybody to write that. They could give that to the writer strike year old. is impacting our lives. Jake. Um, something tells me Konami is non-union. Jerome, let us just, know. Just Show a us feeling. Your card, Jerome. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is straight up. They 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 don't want to cut themselves on a Zeus reprint. Yeah, probably. Yeah, true. Especially if it ends up being in the um, rarity collection. Yeah, like it, it straight up makes sense. And also, but putting it after the holiday periods, a, a real shit decision. This product's probably going to tank. More than likely, and it sucks because it's such a good idea. Yeah, I I hope it gets you like in the time frame that they're now quoting because I think it would do some good. Send them over in the YCS Sydney kits. And I'll buy them. Please. Send them over with some Bakari. You don't even like. You don't have to worry about logistics. Them. You don't have to worry about anything. You just whack them in there. An extra box next to the giant. What are we gonna be? What do you think a giant card's gonna be next year? Um. Put blue eyes again. What else is coming out between the Dark Magician oh. and some Bakari sweat? <laughs> After the high sheet promotion. Because the set just before our YCS would be the main set, right? No, we've got uh, we've got the deck build pack as well. Oh, it's gonna be the Centurion um, women's, uh, yeah, and the big it'll be the big dragon with the crystals and the yeah uh, that Argo looking thing. Imagine we get like the Tistina second Ooh. wave um, exclusive boss monster that they print because there will be another one. I always guarantee it. They just give that one the giant card. Quarter centi um, fire charmer. <laughs> um, Have they done the charmers as giant cards? Yeah, I think they did that with Shortly, one. yeah. Yeah. Dark would be cool. Yeah, but that's a man. No, no one I, wants I that. I don't think they did the Link Charmers. I think they did those new monsters that they've done. Oh, the main, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely won't do Dark. It's a dude. Um, so, oh, press the wrong button. Um, but the uh, next item is the Speed Duel Box. Hey, I was wondering. I had these queued up in my notes just in case he was going to cut me off. But yes, I was going. There's, there's not really enough news to be um, excluding any items. <laughs> He's a speed duel gamer. Um, yeah, not that any of us are speed duel gamers anymore. We're rush duel gamers now. Rush duel gamers. Uh, so there's three structures from what I can work out. Um, I had the names. Oh, rare hunter, Joey, and Yuki. Yeah. Um, so they obviously have all their things. Uh, the cards that are coming in secret rare. The ones of note are, well, to me at least, anyway. Uh, Anti-Magic Arrows, um, Ooh, yep. the Arcana Art of Dark Magician, uh, Dark Magician Girl, the Starter Deck Art, oh no, sorry, that's Dark Magician Starter Deck Art, and the Dark Magician Girl, um, Dust Tornado, uh, Goblin Attack Force, uh, Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer, oh yeah, that's it, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Night Beam, which is kind of cool, uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, from what I've seen of it, looks kind of nice, Summon Skull, uh, and widespread ruin alternate art. Oh, I oh it, yeah, it did have another one, didn't it? Because one's like really like fire cloudy, and the other one is like just wind, isn't it? I mean, probably right. Um, among some other things, obviously. Um, so when's that releasing? That's pretty soon, right? If it's not already out. And the full lists out as well. Oh, old vindictive. Secret old vindictive would be cool, just for my heart. Spell power graphs, two copies. Oh, you shouldn't have Konami. Well, they kind of need to. You can't do it with just one. <laughs> Greaseful dice. Oh, yeah. And Kunai with Chain. Kunai with Chain in um, the first format was really good. You didn't say it properly, Brag. Sorry. It's Kunai, Kunai with Chain! chain. <laughs> <laughs> Kraken. Yeah, this first ever printing. You were fiending for the Oh, Kraken? yeah, that's right. Yeah, we yeah. did get that as a, um, a print that we can now have in the TCG. Yeah, we now have our Kraken. Um, I did have another thing here. Those oh. Russian Wilds just look so much better. They do. Like, like Boss Monster. What's your last thing before we... Uh, well, before we move on to questions, oh, we we're also... Hmm? Yeah, we're we're going to play game. Oh, we're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Oh, you're fucking kidding. Yeah. What are you going to say? What, you, what was it? What I was going to say is that beyond the fact that I'm going to now have to witness Rush Dolls, um, we have some more um, concerning news. 
Uh, the price of the uh, YCS in Europe, the very next one that's yeah. going to happen, whichever one that is, is going up quite significantly. I think this is just a strategy in the attempt to cull their numbers a bit. Because they are getting some fucking huge turnouts. Is the idea of this not to get good numbers? Do you not want more people so playing your game? There, there's getting good numbers... And there's getting so fucking huge numbers that you physically or, can't. So yeah, if you double the price, yeah, if you double the price, halve yeah. the attendance, you make the same money, and then you have to pay less staff. Yes, but if they're struggling for people, who would assume that they're not staffing enough people anyway. I don't think that they can generate enough staff for three thousand people. I, mean, I reckon they're not trying hard enough. I, they'd have to. I mean, the judge incentives are pretty good, but also then you just got so many. A lot of judges aren't cut for event space. They're, they're in the framing of a, of a making quick judgment. Yeah, a lot of judges are fine. But you need to almost have like event organizing management courses. Like when you start getting to fucking 4,000 people. Like that's... Yeah. Like you've got to have secchies. Like yeah. you've got to have... Yeah, you've got to have a lot more going on. So yeah. that's going to cost a lot of money. Like you, you do need to run security teams when... Like, you have that many fucking people in it. But if they throw in a mat and extra packs, I'm all for paying... For, I'll pay 50 bucks for the experience, but you just got to give me a little something-something. For us, this is going to end up being, like, 100 bucks, isn't it? I mean, hopefully it doesn't go that high, but also we don't have that level of attendance, so I feel like they probably wouldn't feel the need to do that to well, us. But it's us. It's, like, whenever they try, like, the slightest bit of fuckery around events, we just cop the whole thing. But packs are like packs don't cost them money. So like, if you just went, hey, it's sixty bucks. Here's ten packs and a mat or whatever. Oh, I'll pay that. No problems. Yeah, like. But so far, we're only getting half of that. Yeah. We're only getting the extra packs. Yeah, and like, so it's just like if you if you use the packs to subsidize, I feel less bad about my decision of handing over sixty dollars to go X two draw. <laughs> I just like the play mats because it's like a memory. So like. Yeah, it's a trophy. Is the thing. Memory of this shit trip to Melbourne. The trip to Melbourne was good. The YCS was awful. I loved that YCS. I hated that YCS. We've, we've, we don't, I, look. Again, the YCS was bad. The trip was great. That Pendulum. Oh, that Pendulum deck was so good. I, I loved playing it. Fucking Logan. <laughs> yeah. Look, I this I definitely think there is room to ask for more money for these events. And I think like, if they provide a good experience, all for it. Bit sceptical, though. Yeah. It's yeah. Konami. We're always sceptical. Always take what they do with a grain of you're about to get fucked. <laughs> Wait a minute. So I've just had this realization. On the dual disc, where do you put your extra deck? Yeah, that was. I was wondering about that. Um, also, I've got an extra deck. also, when you pop out the extra slots, it doesn't. Um, you don't have a spell and trap slot, so you still only have three spells and traps. Which you know, for the most part, is fine. For pendulums, that's fine. Where they're going to put their pendulums, that's another question. <laughs> Even on a regular dual disc, where's the extra deck? Was Yugi keeping his extra deck in his butt? Well, don't don't just a lot of the fusion monsters just appear when you fuse the two? Yes, but was Yugi keeping yeah. his extra deck in his butt? Well, because I mean, one, well, he has his jacket on most of the time. He has his little Why pocket. do you want Yugi to be shelving his extra deck so badly that you've said it multiple times? I'm just, I'm just theorizing. <laughs> Look, he, he has, also he has in his four butt. pockets. It could have been in any of those. But no, you're like, ass crack. Kaiba had his blue eyes ultimate up his butt. <laughs> Dark Sage definitely came from deck, though. Somehow. Kaiba was just yeah, like... It's unclassified summoning effect. I love it. Yeah. Should, I mean... It's, it's, it sounds so stupid that the people that make this game call the way that a card summons itself unclassified. You, you make the classifications! Red Eyes fucking Metal Dragon or whatever. Yeah, with um, Metal Dragon. Quit metal more in the games that never worked because there was times where I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it. You just didn't always feel that you felt more, more in a winning position with metal morph just beating a fuck yeah, out of whatever. It's the like, same oh, card. Yeah, yeah. Why would I summon anything else from deck when I can just keep winning? <laughs> oh, we're circling back a little bit, but back to the dark um, versus light thing. Another cringe deck that people are like frothing over is evil eye. So I much evil eye. Hate it. Hate it so much. I play against a lot more 
trap deck. So I found if I lost the coin toss, ninety five percent of the time I should have just scooped. Because like you lose the coin toss, they either make me go first and they're playing like some fucking dumbass blind second deck, or they make me go second and they just set four pass summon their I forgot the name lab cards. Yeah, Lab's really annoying. I did have a funny interaction against Lab the other day when I was playing the Trickstar uh, Magnite. They, like, did the hand thing to, like, set a card from deck. Yeah. But I had Light Stage on board. So I was like, oh, thank you for that. Send that to Bin, please. <laughs> light Stage, too good. It is good. It is quite good. It was on the ban list. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. I think it's still a two on Master Duel. I think so. Oh, I'll believe you regardless. Anyway, uh, moving on to some questions. So... Ah! Wait, you're going to play it in front of me now? Yeah. Where's the sound? Yeah. Rush to a corner. There. So we'll get there. Oh, I hate Welcome all of this. Welcome to the dark sea alley of the street we film this podcast on, and it's, it's yeah. Magical Stone Excavation. It's I'm getting putting a, a, a reprint. Yeah, it's getting a reprint with gold art. Instead of, you know, the shitty crystals. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool if I do say so. Yeah. It's quite good in their format. Look. Here it is. Adds back my fusion spells. Yeah. Then you can go... Yeah. And, you, and you got poly, yeah? Yeah, I have oh regular fusion. Oh, he's got... I just have regular oh, fusion. Oh, he's got fusion. My legendary is Monster Reborn. one. Oh. But it probably should be graceful. But I forgot to buy graceful. Graceful, people don't play graceful for some reason. I'm like, I guess, yeah. I guess you're drawing four like, every turn anyway. Walter. You do in like this deck, you either play reborn or graceful because yes. you mill. And oh you yeah, get yeah. Cards to be in bin. Yeah, yeah. So you got to get the mill first. Uh, like, literally playing their version of card trader. So, the blue eyes structure deck. We're getting blue eyes ultimate dragon in a structure in deck. In a structure deck. Uh, and so blue eyes is a legendary card so you can only play one of them so we have to make do with other blue eyes cards so blue eyes bite dragon is a 25 25 it is treated as blue eyes while in the hand not on the field that's pretty annoying oh god that's gonna ruin us no because that infuses from field so you need to play the legendary polymerization yeah yep yeah. or they'll give him some blue eyes fusion uh on the field oh here we go send the top card of the deck during this ah oh, so yeah you have to mill a card to make its uh, name become blue eyes white dragon and gain 500 attack if you control a legend normal monster you can choose one face at lower or lower monster your opponent controls and destroy it oh it's um it's just alternative dragon yeah but it has two five attack yeah <laughs> <laughs> moving on to blue eyes vision dragon 2500 2k if you control a level five or Level 8, sorry, or higher dragon monster. You can special summon this from your hand. Uh, send the top card of the um, deck to the graveyard. This card's name is treated as a blue eyes white dragon. If you fusion summon blue eyes ultimate dragon. And it can be used as two of the materials. So once blue eyes is out, you can summon it and off you go to the races. Uh, they get white effigy as well, so you can tribute as a white monster. The white effigy art is actually different and kind of cool. I very much prefer the clouds. I don't know what I did to deserve this. You and didn't then, play enough rush tools. But I apologize. I'm just so keen, like, we can just... Oh, blue eyes are going to be everywhere. It's going to be all blue eyes rush tool gaming in two months' time. No, it's fine. This deck hard counters it, so they're going to hit this on the ban list. Yeah, probably. I they're, hate they're this gonna... so uh, They're reprinting the blue eyes. They're reprinting a whole bunch of other dragon stuff. Reprinting Kyber Man, even though we've been swimming in a million of them. Uh, reprinting Monster Reborn. And the spell and trap destruction and a reprint Wait. trap hole. You see, if they're reprinting Monster Reborn, they're not going to put Polly in the deck because they can't put both legendaries. In. Yeah, so you have to use a new. Uh, you'd have to use a. There has to be a fusion spell coming for them then. Yeah. Or they have to use the on field fusion, which is kind of bad. Yeah, that'd make it. There's no way you don't just opt for Polly over, but Reborn. No, no, you opt for Polly. No way. Stay tuned for that content. I don't have a legendary monster in my deck. I need a legendary monster. And they gave you, in the spirit of Ultimate Dragons, they gave Dragigas a level 3 as well. And it's a big one too. But not as big as Blue Eyes, 4300 attack. So you can either fuse three effect monsters for 4300. Just attack one. Or just them. fuse three Blue Eyes for 45. Yes. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Does that signify the end of this? Yeah. Fantastic. 
I draw my five for turn. It's pretty good. So moving on to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Especially rush tool questions. Absolutely ask not. all the rush tool questions. By next week, I want to ask, why isn't there a blue eyes maximum summon strategy? My first question on rush tools, can you please stop? Uh, no. Our second That's question. First answer. First, second question comes to us from Matthew Mack. What is your favorite video game of all time? Oh. The Rush Duel and that. <laughs> yeah, God, no. That game fucking sucks. Um, was it your video game or just No, just a video game. Pokemon Red. Look, I've sunk a lot of hours into that. I've sunk like probably three, maybe 400 hours into various Pokemon Reds. Uh, hard Gold's up various? there. Like different saves. No, I get that, but like why? I fucking love that game. Yeah. I can just kill a weekend if I just have a weekend where I'm just, I just want to chill out. I'm just going to finish Pokemon Red. In that vein, Pokemon Gold, you got me a Japanese copy. Yes. I'm very thankful. It's save, it's internal battery at the moment means you can't save yeah. and have to save file retained. It's a pretty easy fix, maybe. Or, do you think you can finish the Elite Four in the life of a double A battery? I mean, historically, no. Yeah. No, but like, we were, we were idiots playing as kids. Well, maybe maybe, maybe you were both perfect and I was shit. No, but... I was terrible. Well, I was slightly older by that point, so... Uh, my first playthrough of Pokemon Red took me like 140 hours to beat because I couldn't figure out how to fix the guy in Saffron City who was thirsty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my uncle had to tell me how to do it. Christmas night when I had my Pokemon Blue... Um, I was like playing until 2 a.m. and I was stuck in Viridian Forest. <laughs> I couldn't work out Viridian Forest. Forest. was always so confusing and then it just wasn't. You saw the map from the top yeah, later you on and you're like, just like, oh, okay. oh, I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> I never had a problem with Viridian Forest. <laughs> yeah, but you couldn't work out a dude was fucking yeah. thirsty, so shut the so fuck Jake, up. This, this was a great reflection of my life where <laughs> I can perfectly memorize patterns. Social interaction? Oh. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I should have known when I was four years old that this is how it was all going to play out. Oh, I know exactly how this move set's going to go. Oh, if I do this and do that. Oh, thirsty? Sucks to suck. <laughs> the, the cave that gets you to the ghost town, or to lavender town? Perfectly memorized. If you talk oh, to someone? Yeah, true, yeah. Ah! <laughs> do I need plan? No. Do I need help? Yes. <laughs> 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 oh my god. That looks you need to unlock that to trigger the Fuchsia City gym as well, don't you? Like yeah. you're pretty much Oh like, and then no. You you just need so you can go around the long way. Yeah, because yeah, because I know Fushi you because you can also yeah, you can do yeah. Cinnabar and Fuchsia separate. Yes. Except for pet like it's just way I don't up. think you can do Cinnabar because you it surf is in Saffron City. Yep. I think. Uh, Remember? I just think you could sneak around. Like, you could... Because you can get to a point where you sneak down. I thought you got surf off, um... Off four for some reason. And then it's like, I, oh, that's weird. I, I could be misremembering this, but... Uh, you're, always, me you're meant to do saffron and then go. Yeah. But I always skip saffron. I was surf in Fuchsia. Yeah. I th but so, I don't think you can use surf until you beat saffron. I don't know. Or That's you... quite possibly it. It might be that Sabrina's the one that actually gives you access to use it. So, well, surf's in, um, surf's in the fucking in the safari zone, isn't it? No, I think surf. Strength's in the safari zone. Oh, and then surf's with the guy At the, on, the, yeah. on the beach, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anywho, um, is hard gold, hard gold. Uh, mine was a toss up between two because obviously read these questions quite in advance. So I had some time to think. Um, and I think ultimately it's going to be Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay, and your other toss-up was Final Fantasy 8? 10. Ah. 10? 10. 10 when you, was, when you 10 said was... 2, I was going to be like, they're both Square games though, so... <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, 10 was like a game that I sunk a lot of hours into. Again, multiple save files. Um, Jake but... really appreciated that laughing scene. He was like, I'm in. Wait, is that in 10? Yeah, when that's in 10. Like, I, <laughs> I hated that so much. Um, when I started playing it, I think it was on 
um, there was somewhere else that you could play it. I think I ended up buying like one of the um, like remaster type things where it had multiple games on the same disc and whatever, whatever. They integrated being able to skip um, scenes, which you couldn't do on the first game. I skipped the fuck out of that scene. <laughs> I hated it so much. But anyway, what I was going to is I had a lot of hours on Final Fantasy X. Again, multiple save files. Um, there was different ways that you could like customize the characters because of the skill tree. So I was like trying different things on that. Yep. Loved the game. Still haven't actually like 100% clocked it because there's like really complicated shit to do. So I just never bothered, but had a lot of fun. The reason I went with Kingdom Hearts 2 is more so like a, a full memory thing because when that game came out, um, me and my friend went halves in the game and it's been like one week at his place oh. and then one week oh. at mine and we do a swap thing. God. What it was like to be poor. <laughs> like, I just want you to know that I had Final Fantasy, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. Okay. And I never completed the first level. What? Traverse Town? I fucking hated it. You didn't like the game? Mickey was too thirsty. That's didn't fine. get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he's like Mickey's like I'm thirsty. He's like, it's, oh, I'm not you see game. Mickey like, at the start, I did and then you never get, see him again until the end. Like I did not get <laughs> in very the first many game. games growing up until like EB Games became a thing where you could just buy a fucking dirt cheap secondhand games, and I got like shitload. But like when PS2 games were still quite hard to get and expensive, I got Kingdom Hearts because I was like, it's got all the Disney guys on the front, and then I put it in, and was like. This ain't it. I rented it once, but it might have been like a rental, like both me and my brother in on it. He, I think he gelled with it more. I just never really got into it. That's like, fine. Even when Kingdom Hearts three came out, like I bought Kingdom Hearts three, having known fully well that I hated one and two, and I was just like, oh, I'll buy Kingdom Hearts three. I'll give it a shot. And I like forced myself to play like three or four worlds, and then eventually I was like, no, no, not happening. That's fine. That's the thing about your favourite game, is it's yours. You don't have to have yeah. But it's a popular same. game. It is a popular game. And it's it does have some very hardcore don't, fans. Don't like. And that's okay. I'm going to fight those hardcore fans. <laughs> yeah, you're sure. allowed to like it, but you're not allowed to... What are you going to do? Cry to your chocobo? Oh, that's Final Fantasy. Yep. Ah, uh, it's the same game. It really, oh, that's a, that's it a weird really isn't. Yeah. yeah, I prefer Final Fantasy. And that's fine. Which was your favourite Final Fantasy? Uh, I have the boring answer at 7. Yeah, 7 is the boring answer. <laughs> Seven's the boring answer, but it is the best one. So he's going to say the one with the Cowboys. No. The one with the Cowboys? Cowboys. Number 13. Oh, 13. I didn't like 13 because it wasn't turn-based. Yeah, wasn't once they started taking it away from turn-based, I think it was maybe 13 that they started doing that. I didn't like that. Also, X2 was a fucking awful game. What about playing Final Fantasy fourteen online? The world's most popular MMORPG? I have heard Why far more about this? the game than I've ever played. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, next game question. It was so popular that it was free and they were like, we sold out. Sorry. Come back later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> next question comes to us from Crobat5. Uh, you can only play one of these decks. Which is your pick? <laughs> Salamangre? Mathmec? Ignista or Code Talkers? Oh, I play Code Talkers. I, do, I liked Early Salad too. I liked Early Salad, but then I just stopped wanting to toler tolerate Josh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's that's... only so many times that you hear him be like, your build's wrong, and I'm like, this is the. Play... We're playing at locals, and I'm playing you in the final every week. Of course, I'm just going to play the stuff that beats the mirror. <laughs> yeah. See, this is the big issue that this question has in that the other decks are like neither here nor well, I suppose Mathmech to an extent is getting to that point now but like the other two don't have Josh attached to it so you can yeah. like forgive them a little bit whereas these ones are playing salad while also having Josh scream in your ear over your shoulder that you've made the wrong play at the wrong time I like the funny ass shit that the Code Talking Extra Deck does yeah like I really like that it's quite funny okay that's the reason why I want to play Code Talker yeah, cool. What funny extra deck stuff are you talking about? Like, it just has like so many random ass toolboxy cards that are just like, oh, I did this. It's like, thanks, random link monster. I'm gonna use you to link summon, and it's like, no problem, Ben. I go. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just like, oh, I was cheap to get it out, yeah. and I didn't really do anything here, and now I'm linking up. Like, oh, they... and then I just plus, I just plus yeah, when they, you, they you link me. Plus you a little bit. Yeah. It's like, oh, cool. Like the link one, it's just like, thanks, link one. You came back, and it's like, I'm back, Ben. 
Yeah. I'm going to vanish now. I'm like, okay. Bye. Bye. The sun is <laughs> Your issues with social interactions are beginning to <laughs> really get up there, aren't they? <laughs> Talking to fucking Link Monsters. Yeah. Um, nice. Well, for That's me, obviously, it's hand. Ignista. Um, Ignista is just really fun to play. Yeah, I was going to say. I got you that nice point, Matt. You did, yeah. It turns out so that uh, the YCS box set, all in a box set, oh. I translated this. It had up. the box in it where they were supposed to be, but it was empty. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I translated it and I was like, oh, this is Playmat only. Oh, I thought I'd watch a, the entire set. That's all right. The mat's really nice. Um, the colouring on OCG mats is really It's cool. very rich, yeah. And the mats seem thicker, but I don't know if it's just because the mats that I'm comparing it to are like flattened Worn into over the time. fucking ground. Yeah, that too. <laughs> like these, this one. This one that's like on this table all the time has been like flattened. Yeah. Actually, it's, no compa more it's comparable to this one. Like, yeah. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I like Ignista. Um, just because it's like not just a Cyburst so Link cool. deck. It's got like all the other shit going on. I just like that. Okay. Yeah, I think mean, that, that were cool. They're like... I'll wait till I watch the end before I... Because we're going to watch it. Crobat 5, what's your favourite Rush Tools deck? <laughs> I have a question for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, name the archetypes. He's at least given you four archetypes to choose you from. You had to choose between yeah, seven that, roads. Yeah, that's right. Seven, <laughs> seven roads, roads blue eyes. If, um... if, you, if you have to choose between seven roads and one of the three kit decks in the format designed to hard counter seven roads, uh, what would you choose? Uh, his second question, um, and what will be our last question, uh, what are your th thoughts on this card? Is it good or garbage? I reckon this should be a segment as well. Yeah. Good or garbage. It's garbage. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but let's um, huh. read out what it is. Uh, Mech, Mech Lord Astro Dragon Triskelion. Garbage. Oh, you got to hit it harder. Okay. You do. Spank it. But if you hit it hard for the button to come up, it doesn't make the sound. Oh, I did that time. Oh, yeah. hey. You got to give it a nice firm whole finger thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it shouldn't really need to be explained that you need to hit the whole button for it to work properly. I really hope the sound picks Pickle. up in the microphones. You, you'd think it would, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you may or may not know, this one banishes three mech laws to summon itself, and when it declares an attack, you look through the opponent's extra deck and then equip an extra deck monster, and if it's a synchro, oh. guess to attack three times. So mech laws burned me back in the early days of mech scrap. So I will not consider it. I like mech lords when I'm specifically using them in uh, outstanding dog Marin FTK. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, but yeah, it doesn't great have deck. nearly enough utility. Also, if you want to rip extra deck, just play Dogmatic Ritual. Yeah, he's of course he's going to say that. Yeah. If it... you really want to rip extra deck, no, uh, no. Summon... I know what he's saying. You know Shut up. And what? then declare an attack. That's not nearly enough. That's only one card. Oh, that's fine. Just rip the one off. You know the amount of times I've resolved Zeus in the mirror? Zero times. Because it is always ripped from your extra deck. I'm just like, that's okay. I'll just big eye you and big eye you and big eye you. Big eye you and rip your Zeus. <laughs> big eye there, Zeus. <laughs> then find a way to equip your stuff underneath it. Yeah. Return it to the egg. Take control of it and then return it to your extra deck. If only XC Reborn ignored the summoning condition. Yeah. Would be nice. Uh, but anyway, that does conclude us very much for this week. Thank you all for listening and watching. Uh, if you are on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you're listening along, uh, feel free to favourite us. It really helps us on the back end. Um, leave your questions in our Discord for next week. Uh, please do not mention Rush Ghouls. I will have an aneurysm. Mention we will catch you next week. Peace.